Caso mediators, the leading role of NO, uh, nitric oxide, in inflammatory processes. Mr. Vanian is given the, the floor to. The question is whether the ozone or other mediator operation is going through ox nitric oxide. It is responsible for all the process in the body, starting with mental activities, whether whether the nitro is working through other elements. I shall be speaking whether the mechanisms of nitric oxide is known to be produced as a free molecule form and then it functioning operates in two uh, forms as a neutral molecule that connects to hem consistent ferments and and then the second thing as nitrozone which causes and nitrozen so proton substitution at the level 4 and O plus if you think that biochemy and ethyl groups which that, that is the main group of natural group but um, by the free molecule when they get to the body it was obvious that these molecules of are free radical and is, is subject to action, interaction with other molecules. So, in free condition, it isn't able to uh, perform autoclean and paraclean activities. So, it, it needs to be stabilized, and the nature has two ways inclusion in nitrous bodies I show you the with aperoxid activities this is the main reaction that is that is dangerous it can this is the main thing that kills but if we use with Oxford days it the in order to stabilize the nitro oxide and entros R R S N O and N N O plus or includes uh, into ferrous that we have already established when I received my education. Inclusion of these complexes prevents it from blocking of superoxide and results in accumulation in transport system and releasing and it is very important for NL plus we have proven that that is the not only the donor but also um, performs two functions of nitrooxide in this form I have got to show you that working form of nitric oxide is Natural conferrum that is that which that is uh, uh, foreign countries now uh, they really respect Russian discoveries and now they really into uh, studies in this uh, uh, structures of the complexes mononuclear ferrum and two mononuclear with one uh, ferrum the two atoms of ferrum they look like the one that was opened by famous pharmaceutic in 19th century this is polyphyre of the, which is the first complex is paramagnetic they get to this you know the fact this signal it was discovered in the 1960s then it was um, was opened in 1990s they can be optically identified these are the characteristics B nuclear complexes where, where should I put the button 
the optical and effect and please speak into the microphone specific signal for molecular complexes. The next slide is in 1963, 65, 67, we have discovered these signals, we have identified these complexes, the microscopic characteristic of an RP. And this is another colleague in, from America. He was one of the pioneer in the, in the field. He, as you see, the, the weak signals uh, in, in feeding those into to, to the rats those signals were registered and fully in 1963-65 and this was in 1990 when it was discovered that nitro oxide was a unique molecule that formed in the body and controls all the processes that uh, that uh, go in the, in the body in animal and in man the molecules that which is the regulator of all the living systems excluding a virus of course and this is the American data as you can see on the screen it secretes the element which and as well this inhibitors we get from in terms of arginine oxidation the blockage of such ferments they block the signal. The next slide, please. Yes. Um, I'm trying to show you that free molecules, not connected molecules of nitro oxide, is ineffective. But when it's included into the complex, it is actually starting to work to operate f successfully. As you can see on the isolated um, vessels. Uh, reduced isolated vessels, uh, cardio vessels, which are affected by noradrenaline or adrenaline, the, the complex that uh, secretes and all the relaxation of the vessels and vessel turns into um, and you could also see the peptide groups that causes the same relaxation. Mm -hmm. ne next slide please. This is, is compared to... It shows a comparison uh, of uh, the nitrogen oxide on the isolated vessel in this complex. So the way it's done that Akasita uh, nitrogen was uh, put in this circulated uh, loop uh, through a syringe. It was uh, taken out of the solution. And as the dosage of this uh, nitrogen oxide increased, uh, the vessel was uh, relaxed. Uh, you can see this uh, how the DNA synthesis effectively works in small dosages, especially. And this is uh, positive colon that. Uh, which actually was discovered in the 1980s by Robert Farge Botton, who got a Nobel Prize for uh, nitrogen oxide in uh, uh, liquid systems and for its relaxation factors. Next slide. Here we can see a comparison of the efficacy of uh, free nitrogen oxide and the one that's included in these complexes. And in small dosages, you can see the difference uh, in terms of the dosage. It's 400 times higher in small dosages. <coughs> nitrogen oxide uh, works uh, in, uh, in a small way because it's oxidized by superoxide into an, an unactive form, and it does not work in s large dosages. It works, of course. And uh, here, uh, if uh, there is no superoxide, uh, just metase uh, the ferment that uh, just arises with the act of uh, the superoxide of anions. Uh, if we uh, introduce uh, the uh, super six metase in complexes without it, um, and uh, if you see the difference between it and the complexes without it, the difference is small, five to six, uh, and if you introduce pure NO into iron complexes, is equivalent to the addition SOT. Which uh, uh, protects uh, oxygen outside against uh, the oxidating effects of superoxide, and uh, this is a bit of example <coughs> that in a free state, uh, in a, it's uh, less effective. It easily oxidates. Next slide. <coughs> the next slide shows you the high potential action of a nit nitride. 
uh, in uh, red about uh, zero pilots of the in this way. And this is an RSNL that I mentioned. It works in this way. It decreases the pressure and then goes back to normal. And this uh, uh, complex uh, stays there for a long time. Uh, it keeps uh, the pressure low because from the low macro thiols, it goes to the protein thiols and a more stable complex is formed and it starts uh, producing NO in a little, in little fractures, in little amounts and takes about one hour. Speaking of neutrons of thiol, if we increase its concentration from 0.4 micromoles, see how the red uh, pressure uh, decreases between uh, 4 to 5 minutes. And if we were to increase the concentration of neutrons of thiol by 100 times, then the amplitude would remain just about the same, but the time would go up to 10 minutes only. It means uh, that neutrons of thiol works as, uh, as a hypertensive uh, uh, agent uh, that uh, produces uh, Nitrogen oxide, if we were to increase this concentration by 100 to 500 times, uh, the uh, nitrogen oxide would uh, be released in bigger quantities but it would die. It wouldn't work in the first state. Nitrogen oxide does not work in the animal bodies. It has to be connected uh, to a form that stabilizes it, pass in this form. In the theory groups, it's then released uh, and it uh, acts uh, properly. This is a very important thing. Next thing. How do they form in the body? These are the two mechanisms offered by us and that are now uh, discussed in literature. The first one shows you this. We can see an iron solution with thiols. It produces a ga gaseous uh, nitrogen oxide and what uh, happens next is very important. Uh, oxidation happens of two molecules of NO uh, disproportionate uh, one uh, oxidizes uh, the other <coughs> two iron complexes and this structure occurs with uh, ions uh, that uh, can uh, function as a, a donor of NO and uh, other functions uh, it activates uh, uh, ether containing uh, ferments and other ferments uh, in another way use a neutral of the thiols if they are mixed with iron, and with thiols, disproportionately uh, and mutual oxidation of uh, thiol molecules happens in the same complex forms. Now there are heated discussions between Western uh, scientists uh, because they believe that uh, iron is more saturated with oxygen here. And now we show completely that I'm right and they're not right. This is important. And actually, what happens here is that uh, we are uh, very knowledgeable about it, uh, we are very decent and polite, uh, but sometimes uh, there are accusations of someone not being right and there are harsh accusations uh, thrown at people uh, because uh, this is how it works in the, way, in the West, uh, unfortunately. Next slide, uh, this is what I from neutrals at the also this is a trivial way to synthesize this complex that a schoolboy can do who knows something about the chemistry. How is it done? The all is taken like glutes on then it's uh, put into the um, buffer system it uh, decreases the pH to a violent iron is added it's uh, uh, dissolved uh, in uh, the iron system, the nitrate is added, uh, in, it turns into a uh, nitrogen acid uh, that can produce NO plus nitronized pH also then pH goes up and you get these complexes. It's a simple method that uh, everyone is starting to use widely in the world for this purpose uh, because using with the uh, gaseous NO is very hard because you have to pure refine NO. NO is saturated with NO2 usually. This is the reaction um, attributed to uh, free radical molecules. So this uh, leads uh, to joint gas and NO2. So I have to purify NO2. And anger hydrate uh, produces uh, an acid that can be very dangerous. You have to mind that. Bring back the slide. How are these uh, low uh, nuclear complexes produced? When we have an equilibrium here, then to seven iron electrodes, um, um, we have a two-valent uh, 
and we get an L L plus. It works as an N L plus and the toner. It works as the toner of N L and N L plus. It's important for that that they perform these functions. Mm. We send this into the body, and we see a relaxation also. A decrease in the pressure. It would seem to be a simple. It would seem to be easy to explain because the vessels are relaxed and the pressure drops, uh, but uh, there are a lot of counter-reactions there, like receptors on the vessels, and uh, the decrease in the number of vessels uh, and the pressure in them, they are expanded, dilated, uh, but when it goes, uh, a signal goes uh, to the nervous system, adrenaline and other things can D inflate the system and it uh, and they constrain the systems so they block these uh, reverse compounds connections now I will try to show you that these complexes are not some academic synthesized substance they are just in the body and they are a working uh, form of nitrogen oxide it's first second if you destroy these uh, complexes and if you single out, uh, you see there is a lot of uh, ox nitrogen oxide producing in small dosages. Um, NO works as a regulator in micro um, molar concentrations and large concentrations works as an effector of the immune system. Now, a lot of it is being said about oxidant pro oxidant systems and so. And uh, nitrogen oxide works as an effector of the immune system of cellular immunity, and uh, pro accident. Uh, you ask me about pro accident system. No, it's not a pro accident system. Nature doesn't like se separating peroxide trait. It is destroyed when hydroxid radical is formed in protonating and NO2, and they have a toxic action. You cannot. Uh, these are two forms work together in combination. A halogen uh, that uh, the previous speaker mentioned. Uh, I would like to say that uh, it also is part of this combination. Everything works in combination in nature and has the same effect. When NO is produced in large uh, dosages, peroxide is formed as one of the toxic elements of um, NO products, and it kills uh, target cells. And the immunity works through an L peroxynitrate that's born through uh, the combination of NO and active forms of uh, oxygen O2 minus. Next uh, slide. These are different uh, forms uh, of their activity. The first one high vasodilatory hypertensive effects. It's not uh, the effect, actually, because if it was just a simple effect, uh, you know that hypertension happens because these complexes of block uh, reverse uh, connections, or sorry, interactions uh, that uh, are less vasodilatory. Also, inhibition of platelet aggregation happens here. All it works effectively in terms of accelerating skin wound healing. And O is an element that improves uh, skin wound healing. Speaking of uh, hypertension vasodilatation, we have uh, created this Voxacom drug at the cardio center in Moscow that is now undergoing clinical trials. We about 100 Tests have been performed on patients with hypertonic uh, crisis, and um, usually it works fine. And the reason why it happens is because we use uh, that which is given by nature, not some chemical uh, compounds. And we produce the product. We uh, produce. We use the products of nature. This is a natural product which works well. But the Minister of Healthcare is always uh, stalling for time, and it's hard uh, to overcome this barrier. Soon uh, the Americans will produce it and we'll have to buy from them. Wound healing, the second thing, we have created a Kalkanke based uh, drug. There I know is produced and it gives you good results. At the second week, 
the difference is about five days in terms of uh, accelerating the skin wound healing. So it's five days less. Here we have a representative of Belar the Belarusian uh, from Belarusia, and together with him, we show that, that the viscoelastic properties of red blood cells are improved. And the activities of the capillary systems uh, show how elastic red blood cells are and how and the more elastic they are, the better they can go through capillaries, the better. And the viscoelastic properties are improved uh, in this case. In a hammer regime, uh, the survival rate here is higher because uh, also it uh, has a powerful pinoreactive activity, so it uh, produces a, a high reactive action. Also, uh, the necrotic zone of the myocard is reduced. s isolation of cellular proteins is also important, so that is uh, uh, down to this complex that generate NO+. Next. Antiplatic activity, which is American activity, that is act the it actively affects on activity, both activation and uh, introduction of the gene. The Argentinian specialists show that this complex has reduced the diseases, uh, Roy and under fungal diseases, when which when in this case iron cannot be dissolved. Um, the iron is that cannot be absorbed, so Chinese colleagues now overcome over this uh, obstacle. They had the serial uh, contamination when fungs just con yeah was very contagious, and what, what they what they just made to. They implemented this case in order to get this, in order to get a synthesis of the theorem of uh, respective organelle, holoplasts, and so on and so forth. Uh, and then the feast was not successful. The second thing was there were many things. Yeah, but. Let, let me know that this uh, information is five years old. This is cytotoxic effect of DNIC with phylate ligands, which shows that um, in HeLa cells, the, they, these complexes cause kills in one condition. If if we destroy them with uh, clutter forms, uh, many nitro oxid. Um, is produced, and my colleague showed that this is the effect on cancerous cells, on renal cancerous cells, though the ones that cause apoptosis of those cells. This is a peculiar thing that these complexes could uh, treat endochondriosis. This is one of the uh, issues in, in the human po women population because in the metriosis uh, developing in, uh, their cer cervical uh, cells they they lead to tumors and now 20% of women caused by this disease which is a severe uh, condition so this, this is what I'd like to show that what we treat using these methods and the matriosis, women know about it. There's a really acute syndrome which metastasize. It's not actually a cancer, it, it does not, they do not develop uh, forever, but, but still it is very severe. And then the reproduction is totally blocked at the end. Our German specialists, they did one good thing. They... So my card... Uh, cell creators of protein to create amino acids. Please, next slide. This is the experiments on our volunteers. 
this is the pressure uh, in decrease of one to microvolts, which is not actually pretty accurate. Um, one time injection is for six hours, and the next day it is gone. As for the pulses, this is the indicators of whether the feedback is there, whether the adrenaline is there in response for uh, relaxation of vessels. The adrenaline reaction is blocked on for relaxation of vessels. On this medicament is based on oxycom. It is now tested. I already told told you about that. But uh, approximately 150 patients with hypertension they, they went through tests and no by products no. Mm, yes, the, as for the body that is working, it's just working as a response for increasing in pressure. This is the patient results. Uh, the patient is 60 years old, and the pressure is 240, the lower and the low and the higher pressure. So you give, give this dosage of 1 to microvolt. It, it, it sums up to 1 point milligrams per kilogram of oxacom. The, then the pressure decreases and it stays in normal uh, condition. Then the patient is administered home. And please, could you tell me? Could you show me the next slide? Yeah, this is the control. Uh, the two millimeter implants of cervical implants. They were stitched on the abdominal surface, and then within one month, there was growth. And as you can see, those implants have have grown to such sizes. And but then, two months more, they stopped. They stopped uh, growing. This is not cancerous tumor. And then, once it, once the wound was healed, healed up. The next slide, please. Now you can see ten. And for 10 days, 10 micromoles per kilogram, the injection of the medicament, and then for half a month it was supervised as per the control uh, testing. This is complete blockage of the ferments. If you inject those complexes when, once it has developed when the tumor is there, the injection of the further injection in one uh, month will uh, unfortunately lead to the that those cells grow growing accident I mean eventually stops which is an important thing we try to do that in our clinics I am acquainted with Adanyan who is the president of the clinic I'm I'm trying to convince her to do that she's a surgeon and what she does she just cuts those tumors off and um, women are different from uh, animals and th those balls are different in shape, so it's really difficult to clean them. In two months, 5% of women they come back with the same disease, and then she just suggests just that they should get pregnant. Um, but this treatment is proven to be successful. Our conventional medicine tells that well. As for me, I have uh, done this before the Americans did that. I'm really concerned about Russian medicine, and as of now, I'm very proud of it. Histophatological analysis, those places where we treated them. As you can see, the control. Продолжение следует...
when in those when we inject metabolites that produce and they result in worse effect because the, the hypothesis says that fast growing tissues uh, produce helatoris that provide iron. They really need iron. They take the iron and they get uh, the one that kills them in, in the future. But when um, when helatoris is produced, the tissues will die. Pro Filtrating tissues. That's why the immune system is is damaged and it starts to grow even faster. Next slide, please. Well, we had a task to whether we should uh, try cancer. If and we actually did that. We managed to do the test and did this, you see the different dosages, the Lewis cells of cancerous tumors, uh, renal tumors. These cells resutured and within one month a huge pack of tumor is grown on the back of a patient and they start to compare these tumors in size with each other. As you can see on the screen, the amount, uh, the dosage of a medicament to be injected, why the growth starts? Because we have, yeah, we have one explanation. The bacteria we were, we talked about yesterday, they grow a special film to protect themselves from external environment. That's what they need to do. That is the system to protect themselves. They either oxidate it or kill it. If bacteria didn't have that, we would never have this contagious disease because ox nitrogen oxide always creates created in, the, in our body. They try to synthesize proteins that either oxidate or create NOA. So there is no NO. That's why the bacteria develop very successfully. The same thing happens with cancerous cells. Um, uh, well, uh, not like in, unlike in other tumors, the such cells they start the same system of, of the protein using the same genome sites, thus creating such process. We had this hip hypothesis. Well, I, I have one good. Um, specialist in Taiwan, which is in Chinese Republic, he is into this complex uh, studying. He managed to destroy and to decrease development of cancerous cells. I'm talking about adenoma prostatus and uh, you, as you can see the, the tumor growing, the prostatus growing when they injected these complexes. With, along with gluteon and pepeptide, they introduced niproptans. As you could see, the tumor is presented here, so it decreased in size. Using this method, they learned how to um, deprive the tumor. It's not about you know, knowing how to uh, create protection, but it. The, the, the following thing is happens. The small molecules of theon and it, it, and it uh, brings results. Yeah, the body really gives birth to uh, cancerous cells in our body. Newly born, newly born kids have the same thing. They have many cancerous cells developing in their body. We need to know how to do that. When the, a person is old, such mechanisms, such, such protective mechanisms just don't exist. Let me show you the last a slide to show you uh, that APR, I was talking about other signals which we could use to, to produce those. They, they, they have also 
bio nuclear nuclear complexes if the two carbonate that are the connection that, that I proposed to to diagnose to to produce and oh, this is the the, the ones that, that we could use with the same method that what we have we have done I have many many um, um, examples of how this method was used in the past uh, we have many literature works we give, give these things they produce this things that you see on the screen and you get uh, the the following form so with this uh, method we could produce B nucleal forms as you can see there's signals of up here of modified complexes such signals of mononucleal actually the next slide is you can s we have B nucleal um, ones are much uh, more in number and they are IP are inactive, and the, the thing we did when if you give the polychlorate, it gets um, uh, results in pre pre product ferments. We these complexes that produce this B nucleo, everything is included in the complex. What is the conclusion that we can make? The first, they can. These complexes are, I think, we're repeating the bioactivity of the nitro oxide, and the number of this oxide are equal to the number of nitro oxides. The conclusion can be that the complexes are working, and the main working uh, method for the issue. So, what we can do? The nitro oxide is produced, but it is up, it is functioning only works if it is included in the complexes. This next slide. I'd like to show you the following thing. No, I first of the bodies and complexes in the beginning. I wanted to do one, the one thing. There is no, everything is uh, combined in the biology. Not just dialysis are interconnected systems. Dinkage is the cell gets the same. So the system is self-regulating, is self-maintaining. That is one working organism and system. What is electromagnetic wave? The electric company that changes, magnetic company that changes after radio principle. And transfers into another state, into one into magnet. This is the system that needs to create auto waves. Um, and the next slide shows that the system bears auto waves, and you you see what is what we have in the end. This is the most complicated system that creates auto waves. We need to approach the system as an orbit, as a construction that lives inside of this system. Uh, thank you very much, colleagues. Uh, thank you for your attention, for, us, for the delay in the presentation of our uh, microphone. <coughs> so here we can see hydrogen sulfide, and it works. It is included in these complexes and can increase their activity. As for the ozone as a proxy, it should uh, lead to the synthesis. Извините, говорите в микрофон, пожалуйста. В микрофон. Скажите спикеру кто-нибудь, пожалуйста, чтобы он поближе к микрофону говорил, ибо его не слышно. Как и не. We can see. 